Disty's VE Studio is a proven production-driven tool suite for managing the development of complex virtual environments for use in 3D maintenance and task training applications. Large-scale maintenance training development programs involve managing various processes including requirements analysis, content development, automated builds, and automated regression testing. Unlike commercial game engines, which focus on rendering the final image on the screen, VE Studio manages the entire development process. The result of this risk-free development tool suite is a virtual environment that accurately reflects the form and function of the real-world platform, regardless of the device's size or purpose. The foundation of VE Studio is the Fidelity Matrix, or FM for short. The FM is a relational database that correlates the requirements, 3D objects, 2D support equipment, environment properties, and constraints that feed automated build and testing tools. The tools that populate the FM and manage this production pipeline include the FM Editor, a graphical interface for creating and modifying Fidelity Matrix content, MaxLink, a 3ds Max plugin that associates 3D model geometry with FM objects, Requirements Analyzer, an optional tool that analyzes job procedures and auto-populates the Fidelity Matrix, GL Studio, for 2D support equipment, cockpits, and interactive schematics. VE Builder, automatic on-demand build tools for on-the-fly and nightly builds of the virtual environment objects. And VE Tester, an automated regression testing tool for quality control. VE Studio projects start from a common core template library. The template library seen here is referred to as aircraft example. While the templates are not much to look at, they serve as the starter foundation for the virtual environment and include all common functionality found in most mechanical objects. These templates also include the baseline user interface elements, background environment, and DISTY's easy-to-use navigation scheme. Think of the Fidelity Matrix user interface as the admin panel for VE Studio. Here we see it populated with boilerplate objects, properties, attributes, and classes that come with the starter template. On the Engineering Management tab, project administrators have control over user level access, variants, file type associations, component lists, tessellation parameters, and class types. The Requirements Analyzer quickly and easily parses job procedure documents by scanning and tagging items for use in the Fidelity Matrix. To accomplish this, the Requirements Analyzer takes advantage of a user-defined dictionary of project keywords. These keywords identify actions, modifiers, and objects that the virtual environment will need to track or control. For instance, in this procedure for applying external power to the aircraft, the analysis automatically detects and marks up objects in cyan, actions in green, modifiers in yellow, and warnings in red. Users can then verify and modify these markups or create new ones that were not detected by the initial analysis. In this example, the initial analysis missed identifying the external power receptacle door 2318 so the user can easily add that markup. After tagging the object once, the Requirements Analyzer scans the rest of the procedural documents and automatically identifies and tags other occurrences of this syntax. This ensures that all functionality required by the virtual environment is properly tagged, cataloged, and tracked. Once all tagging has been performed and approved, the tagged content is synchronized to the FM. Inside the FM user interface, users can view the change history to see what has been added since the last refresh. This update includes the ground power procedures, warnings, and the objects. Browsing the object hierarchy shows the new reference to door 2318. The FM also manages where that reference came from, so at any point, any object within the FM can be traced back to the referencing documents. The 3D content that feeds the VE Studio development process comes from a variety of different data sources, 
These typically include hand-modeled content from technical drawings, importing CAD data from a number of common CAD data formats including CATIA, NX, AutoCAD, and Pro-E, or derived from 3D scanned point cloud data, as seen here. In 3ds Max, graphics artists use MaxLink to associate the 3D model geometry with its corresponding objects in the Fidelity Matrix. Coupled with a local copy of the build tools, the graphics artist becomes the owner of the continuous integration process for building the 3D virtual environment. In this example, the artist is making a live update to the ground power panel behind door 2318. The ground power receptacle needs to be added. In Max, the artist creates the geometry, links the object, and saves the file. The build environment senses the presence of the new files and rebuilds them on the fly when the content is reloaded. The FMUI tool is also used to set up constraints for the virtual environment. In the case of door 2318, the environment needs to know that the door should not be allowed to close if the ground power cable is installed. Users select the object in the fidelity matrix, and set up a constraint based on the action for the door and the condition to be met. In the condition, the user selects the ground power cable object and states it has to be removed. With the condition set in the FM, the virtual environment interface will now highlight the constraining object in red and display a warning indicator showing that the action cannot be performed. VE Studio uses GL Studio for the development of the virtual environment's 2D support equipment, cockpits, and interactive schematics. The final element in the VE Studio production pipeline is the test driver tool. This tool exercises all the properties configured in the environment, ensuring that they will function as designed when integrated into the final training device. The test driver tool also performs automated regression testing of the mainline automated builds. Testers use the VE to record all the interactions required to perform procedural steps and record snapshots of the interface. These saved steps become the baseline to which the automated builds are tested against. Users review the output of the automated regression testing for any discrepancies highlighted in red. These include visual differences found between the snapshots. The reviewer inspects the differences. Selecting Pass confirms that the new image is correct and becomes the new baseline. If the change is rejected, the reviewer hits Fail, which discards the state and alerts the artist of the problem. With a comprehensive set of build tools and a proven development process, DISTI's VE Studio is the risk-free, cost-efficient method for creating interactive 3D maintenance and task training environments. For more information, please call or click today.